Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 76 for what's going to be a different kind of video than I usually make. Today we're going to talk about how to transfer items between characters. I've actually had a lot of people ask me about this and lots of people request a video on it, so while it's not terrifically exciting, hopefully it's helpful. Remember, if you like videos like this one and you want to see more, do go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. There's plenty of Fallout 76 content to come. Now before we get into this, let me make one very important statement when it comes to transferring items in this game. There is no 100% safe way to transfer items between characters in Fallout 76. Let me repeat myself just in case you weren't listening. There is no 100% safe way to transfer items between characters in Fallout 76. This is at least true as of now in June 2021. Hopefully at some point in the future they add a reliable way to do this, but for now, this is what we have to work with. So I want to make that crystal clear just so that when you go through and you try this, if and when something goes wrong and inevitably something will, don't come back to my channel to this video and start leaving comments about how Fisty told me this is how to do it and it's totally reliable and totally safe. I told you it's not. I'll say it one more time and you should all repeat after me. There is no 100% safe way to transfer items between characters in Fallout 76. Now with all that said, I'll, I'll say what I'm going to show you today is how to move items if you're playing solo or you just don't want to bother one of your friends. For your truly valuable items, those irreplaceable god roll legendaries, super rare clothing or plans, I do not recommend using these methods. For those, find a friend, use the trade menu, let them hold those items for you and give them back after you switch to another character. That's the closest to 100% safety you can get, and it is pretty close. There are still weird things can, that can happen, but that's how you want to do that. It's the most reliable way to move items. But that's just not always possible. Some players don't have any friends to play with, or maybe it's hard to sync up times, or maybe you don't trust your friends 100%, or maybe you have 200 different things you want to move, and you just don't want to make them go through the tedious process for all of it. For those situations, these methods are really your only choices. First, we'll look at how to move things if you don't have Fallout first, using public servers. Then we'll look at how to do it using your private world. Both ways are pretty much the same, but it's worth discussing them separately. Let's take a look now at how to do this using your friends list and public servers. So when you're ready to move items and you don't have Fallout first, you'll need to find a way to leave those items in a world and a way to get back to that exact world in order to retrieve them. The best way to do that is to see which people on your friends list are currently playing. As you can see here, I can see that Thoma 150 is currently online. Now the items I need to move aren't on this character, so I'll need to go back to the main menu, switch characters, and then instead of just joining a random adventure world, I'll join Thoma 150's world. Once I load in, I'll check and make sure that they're still online and in this world. That's important, because unless you're actually speaking with them, which would be ideal, for all you know, they could be server hopping, in which case you're going to be totally screwed. But if you're confident they'll be hanging around that world for a bit, or you're just willing to take the chance, the next step is to find a world container with either enough open weight to hold what you're transferring, or preferably one without a weight limit. For that, I like this blue suitcase at the White Spring Station. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just put a few items in the container. Uh, these are plans that I already know, so it's no big deal if something goes wrong. We're just going to take a minute and put those three plans in here. And then, in this case, I'm also going to do something dumb. I'm going to drop items in a paper bag, just to see if that bag survives a server hop. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. So I don't recommend using bag drops to transfer items. Remember, the game assumes that if you dropped something, you don't want it anymore. Paper bags don't last forever. 
The server will despawn them after a while, and that can be unpredictable, so always use a world container. Even if this bag survives our server hop, don't take that to mean that it always will. It's also a public world, and we're at a train station, so other players will go past here and could easily pick up what's in the bag. In theory, you could do this in some out-of-the-way place, but then it becomes much harder to find, and you still run the same risks. Now that we've done all that, we'll head back to the main menu, select the character that we want to transfer these items to, and then rejoin our friend's world, just like we did before. At this point, we'll load back into the world, and we just need to head back to the White Spring Station to see if our stuff is still there. And we can see that the three plans are all there in the suitcase. We'll just go ahead and grab those up, and we can even see that the bag of explosives is also still there. We got lucky this time with those. Remember, using a world container is much, much safer. There's no reason to take the risk of using a bag drop when world containers are available. One other thing to note here, and you may have noticed it a bit when I, when I checked the suitcase, sometimes, especially depending on the speed of your system, it can take a moment for items in world containers to populate if you've just loaded in. If you don't immediately see your stuff in the container, take a deep breath, relax, and check a few seconds later. That's usually all it is, but of course, sometimes things do go wrong. And that's why I say, there is no 100% safe way to transfer items between characters in Fallout 76. Now that we've got that little disclaimer out of the way once again, let's head back to the main menu and see how to do this if you have Fallout first and access to private worlds. That is a little bit more reliable. If you have Fallout first, then what you'll want to do from the main menu is just take your character that you're moving things from and just jump right into your private world. Now, one thing I do recommend when you're doing this is uh, change it to team only. This will prevent uh, random people who you might not know from jumping into your private world and ransacking your world container before you can come back and take your stuff. I think that's a pretty slim chance that that happens, but if you want to be a as close to 100% safe as possible, go ahead and access that world as team only. Once we're back in the world, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to find our uh, suitcase, our world container with no weight limit, and I'm going to go ahead and just put a whole bunch of stuff in here. We're going to move some weapons over. We're going to move a couple of different things over to a different character. I got an unstoppable monster plan that somebody dropped for me on a stream, so I'm going to move that to the right character. And uh, this is going to be a little more, I feel a little more secure doing it this way, uh, just because I know that uh, I don't have to risk that the friend that I'm joining has maybe skipped worlds or, or quit playing in, in the middle of, of while I'm making these transfers. And now that I've dropped my items off, we'll go ahead back to the main menu, where now I will just go to the character that I want to use. So I'll switch to my unarmed character and jump right back into the private world. I don't need to hunt down a friend, I don't need to do anything like that. And once I load in, we'll head back over to the suitcase and we'll see that all that stuff is still there, including that unstoppable monster plan that I've been trying so hard to get on that character, and daily ops just didn't cooperate. So uh, so yeah, so that's that's really how you do it. It's, it's fairly straightforward on private worlds. Now it's important to note that the reason that works on private worlds is because you have kind of a buffer period after you leave your private world. So if you leave your private world, go back to the main menu and go back in. If you do that within a couple of minutes, I've heard people say maybe up to five minutes. I try to do it in, you know, less than 30 seconds just to be 100% safe. But uh, it kind of leaves your world in an active state for a couple of minutes just in case you were to maybe get disconnected and need to join back or... You know, maybe they had this in mind, but I don't really think so. Uh, this is just kind of a, a little side benefit of having access to a private world. But uh, that's really all there is to it when it comes to transferring items between characters. Now, it should be noted that even though that's very simple, it's still definitely not 100% safe. Because what have we said before? There is no 100% safe way to transfer items between characters in Fallout 76. 
and you may feel like I'm beating a dead horse there, you might get it, but I think it's really important to know. Your private world transfer is probably the most secure way to do it, but it is not 100%. There's any number of things that could go wrong. Maybe your system crashes in the middle of it. Maybe Fallout 76 crashes. It's not like that never happens. So there's any number of things that could pull you out of there and cause you to be unable to return to that world space, in which case your items would be lost. Iterate again what I kind of said at the beginning. If you have really valuable stuff, god roll legendaries, things that you just absolutely cannot live without, uh, those items you don't want to transfer this way. You don't want to do it either the public or the private way. You want to find a friend, hand it to them, let them hold it for you so you can jump back and forth between characters. But we know that's not always realistic, and that's why I wanted to show you these two methods so that you can understand how to move things back and forth while also understanding that there is some risk to it. I hope this video was helpful for everyone. I hope you got a little something out of it. As I said, I had a few requests for it, so I wanted to go ahead and put something like this together. Uh, as always, if you did enjoy it, if you found it helpful, please do go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter. There's any number of uh, ways to keep in touch with me, and there's always a lot more to come on the channel. I hope I see you all next time. Until then, I'm Fisty McRib.